How's inflation affecting real estate and interest rates? I'm Garrett Stewart here with Jeremiah Eck for our mid-month mortgage update. Let's take a look. Thanks for coming back. This is our second uh, video for our mid-month mortgage update. And Jeremiah is back with us from Guild Mortgage. Jeremiah, how's it going? It's good, how are you, Garrett? Uh, I'm doing great. And how is how are interest rates and what's going on with inflation? Because I think everyone wants to know what, what the heck's happening. They do, <laughs> yeah. So really cool predictions for the future. So right now, inflation is sitting at about 4.9%. If we look at last year this time, it was about 9.2%. So we've dropped quite a bit. Mm -hmm. The prediction is that inflation is going to hit about 4% next month and maybe if all things go well about 3.5% <laughs> in June. So why is that important? Because as inflation goes down, interest rates for mortgages go down. Why is that important? Because it helps your affordability. It makes your payment easier to afford. It allows you to qualify for a higher priced home if you need to. And the only sticky thing with this is, is the labor market. The feds want to make sure that in any type of adjustment that we go through in an economy, the labor market does have to go down. So employment, unemployment has to increase. No one wants to hear <laughs> that we have to have more people unemployed to curb inflation. The reason that's important is because if there's less people working, then employers have to pay less overhead, which then decreases costs for consumers. So that's really important. Got it. So we want the economy just to slow down just a little bit because you're kind of going too too crazy yep. and we saw prices go up and now interest rates are up so you yep. know what happens next in terms of with all these with, with all these job reports and everything you know wh where are we going yeah they want to see the labor market cool um to about four to six percent unemployment okay. and then when that happens obviously a recession is going to be bound um, a recession isn't necessarily a negative thing though it's just a right sizing of price a right sizing of the market because if we get too extended we don't want to be there forever so we got to pull back and find a normal place and you can totally see this if you look at the cost of eggs eggs are like twelve dollars <laughs> right now right. ridiculous um, so a couple of things inflation is going to go down Unemployment needs to go up, but it's still a good time to buy because if you look at from 1948 to 1989, there was only seven down years in real estate, which means every single year real estate appreciated at some percentage. And a lot of people only focus on 2008 to 2012, but in every year besides those seven over that 41 year period, homes have appreciated. And this year they're expected to appreciate at 5.8%. Wow. So, Crazy. And, and, and I've been seeing the activity and buyers out on the market already yeah. doing it just with the low inventory. And I love what you brought up about the recession. Um, I was just reading the other day um, that historically every re in every recession uh, that we go through, interest rates go down. They do. So even though you got a recession and um, you know the market might slow down a little bit, we're still gonna see, um, we're still lower gonna rates. see likely in lower interest rates. And I saw too actually that uh, historically with recessions that uh, home prices historically most times actually go up they do. by the end of the recession. So, uh, yeah. so really interesting stuff on there. I think there was only two cases, obviously the big recession that we know. Yeah. Of, but, well, when you uh, think of the relationship, right? Rates go down, people buy more, prices go up yep. and that's all it is. But when you refinance your loan into a lower interest rate, even if you had a higher one now, you'll still be in a better position then because you will have saved potentially on the price of the home if you bought now or maybe repairs or some sort of negotiation. That's a great point too. Yeah. You got anything else for us today? You're always so full of information. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I was gonna say is if you are this person that believes that the housing market's gonna crash, you might be waiting another four or five decades. And the reason for that is, is because right now in the United States, there's only 1,040,000 some homes listed for sale across the entire United States. And we have about three to four, five million buyers projected to be in the market in the next 10 to 15 years. Wow. So like, well, how are we gonna have enough homes we can't? So your home is not gonna crash in value. Wow, that's good. good point. 
Great yeah. information. Jeremiah, I'm going to put your contact information below. So if you are curious on, yeah. you know, what you might qualify for uh, or, you know, you have more questions for Jeremiah, you can reach out to him below. Uh, and of course, if you need a real estate agent here in northern Nevada as well, give me a call and we'd love to help you out. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. See you then.